Hey, I got a little something different today. Uh, hang loose and we'll get into it. All right, so we had a customer send in a brand new factory GM camshaft, and it's for uh, LAT, the Gen 5 stuff. Uh, I ain't never had this request before on a stock cam, but they want the fuel pump lobe reground to a 32% over fuel pump load. So I got it all set up and we are gonna regrind this, this uh, standard load. So these are factory, they're two, 209 thousandths lift on the tri-load and the 32% is 257 I think. 250 something, I don't remember. But uh, but so I got the master plate on and we gonna whack it. So and the way that profile is, it's a little goofy, so you can't go real fast on these compared to like a cam load. So basically it works just like a uh, just like a cam load. So we're gonna take it off of the base circle. It's not a base circle, but the center right here is the low spot and then the high spots are obviously the peak. So we'll leave the peak where it's at and we'll just make the bottom go down. And that's another thing, and I need to do a video on it, but that's another issue with uh, putting these cams in the Gen 5 stuff because you got a, a mechanical fuel pump that runs on this load. When you go to an aftermarket cam, pretty much all of those are have a 32% uh, pump on them. Let me check how centered we are. It could go this way just a little bit. Let me tweak it just a little bit. But you have to set that uh, pump because uh, as this gets smaller, you know, you're losing preload and or some of them aftermarket covers are a problem too because they're not the same height so it moves that pump up or down, and that's an issue. So I've, I've seen some that we've had to actually mill the plate that the pump sets on, and I've had some that we've had to actually put two gaskets together and space the pump up to get it right. So I'm gonna try to do a, a real video on that to go over how all that's done and, and set that pump up. On them flats, there's a lot of surface area so it's kind of like the flank on the camshaft, so you have to be real careful. You can't feed it fast or it'll just burn the journal because it's, it's just so much surface area and it's going so slow at that place. But we're getting close, we ain't got much more to go. Close. 
Alright, let me, I'm going to uh, finish dress the wheel and then we're going to finish it up. I just let it run and you can just edit that out. Alright, so let me dress this wheel. You know, even though that's slow, because there's three lobes, it's still fast. And I can't slow it down no more. I just put it on V-Block. So you can do it in the cam doctor too, but I put it in V-Block. And it just, yeah, because we only, the only thing that's different is how high the peak is. So the stock cam's like 209 or something, and the 32% is like two, 257 or something like that. All right, so now we got us a, 257 lift so what we'll do is just for giggles we'll take it in there and put it in the cam doctor and we'll run uh, a stock tri-lobe and we'll run a 32 percent tri-lobe and let you see both of them together at the same time on the cam doctor screen so hang on See what that looks like on the screen. <laughs> it's like Rrr. that's a that's a little weird. Let me get it to zero. Yeah, so it's just that's all right there. Yeah, do that. So the nose are two, so 224 is the stock lift appears to be, and then 294 is the 32% lobe. So, and you can see, you know, how much different the peaks are. But that's, a, that's interesting how that is. 
but there it is so we got that one done but i don't know why you'd need 32 percent over fuel pump on a ball stock camshaft but that's what they wanted so that's what we're doing all right 